today I'm going to make Alexa's All-American Apple Pie. And in order for to know how to make the pie crust, you go on Alexa's Pie Crust and it will show you a video and it will explain everything how to do this. I've made this in advance so we can just start with, um, with the apple pie. So I had this in the refrigerator for about a half an hour and I'm just going to cut this in half now so I can open this. going to knead it for a minute and then I'm just going to cut this in half and put the what I'm going to use for the top back in the refrigerator so it doesn't get warm while I'm working on the bottom part of the of the apple pie. Okay. back in the refrigerator and now this part I need a little bit of flour here on my countertop this part I'm going to roll out for the, um, the pie dish about right. And the way you pick this up is you take your, your rolling pin and then you just flip your dough over over your rolling pin and just pick it up like that. Now you see my, my dough is a little crooked here, the sides are a little crooked and I'm just going to cut off the edges and sort of fix it so it's all one even, one even um, edge. I have my scissor. So this is good enough for now because when we put the, the lid over the over our apples, then we are going to, um, I'm going to make sure that all the edges are, are nice and even. And um, I'm going to prick the bottom of the dough now with the scissor. And then this is going to go back into the refrigerator for another half an hour. Okay, so before you start cutting up your apples, you want to squeeze one grapefruit juice, or if you don't have grapefruit, you can use um, two oranges, and um, that will keep the apples from browning. So, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to pour my juice in here now. Now I'm going to start, start start cutting up all my apples. So I've cut up all my apples, and my apple slices are about this thick or this thin. It always takes me forever. I'm not good at cutting up apples. So um, we're also going to add honey to this. You can use your favorite honey. And then we're going to add cinnamon. And I only add about a teaspoon. Now, if you're in love with cinnamon and want more, you can use more. Um, I just like sort of the idea in the background of the cinnamon. So I'm going to do that. And then I melted some butter. And this is salted butter. So if you don't use salted butter, you want to add um, some salt to your pie filling. And then a little bit of flour. and some nutmeg this is such a great pie and it's really easy if you think about it 
So now you want to um, combine everything and be gentle when you stir this so you don't break up your egg, your, your apple slices, not your egg slices, your apple slices. Daisy, come here. What are you barking about? So here's our pie crust. And now we're going to fill our apples into the bottom of our, of our dish here. Daisy's growling at her toys. So this is a very high apple pie, as you can see. All our apples are in here now, and we're gonna just pour the the liquid over the over the top. And now I'm going to get our top to cover our pie, and we're gonna roll that out and cover our pie. Add some flour to our countertop and just knead it for a few seconds just to combine, make sure everything is nicely combined. And I've preheated my oven to 450. You want the oven really, really hot and your dough really, really cold. You'll get a perfect pie. And we're just going to lay it on top of our pie. Yay! And now I'm just going to sort of stick the two, the two parts of the dough together. If they don't stick, you can put hot, like little warm water in between and that works like glue, really. Just put some egg wash over this. Or not egg wash, but just my little egg yolk. And make sure you get into every corner of the dough. So you get that nice golden color. And now all we need to do is to cut some, some holes on the top, some ventilation holes. So when you put this in the oven, put it on like a baking dish or so because when it drips over, it will drip on here and not in the bottom of your, your oven. So this is going to be in the oven for an hour at 450 degrees. And after about 25 minutes, you want to cover the, um, the top off with some aluminum foil so it doesn't get too dark. So, but I'll show that to you when the time is right. Okay. So when your pie has this nice golden brown color, you're going to cover it with aluminum foil. And it's been about 25 minutes. Thank you for joining me again today in Alexa's Kitchen and I will see you next time. Bye bye!